good morning students welcome to the science class we have already started with the chapter 6 time motion and speed on last monday and we have cover up till motion and speed so to recap that we have done measuring time under that heading we have covered periodic events what are those those events which are taking place after regular interval of time then we have covered devices used to measure time in olden days under that we have covered sundials candle clocks hour glasses then we have done pendulum clocks its discovery and working within that what is time period and on what it depends that we have done how to find out frequency we have covered that after that you have done units of time and rules to write them then measuring time intervals by stopwatches and stop clocks etc next we have covered motion and speed now what is the formula for the speed distance upon time distance in meters and time in seconds if the speed remains constant with time then it is a uniform motion if the speed changes with time then it is a non uniform motion today we will do distance time graph now before we start with this topic you should know what is a graph so graph is a pictorial representation of any data it shows the relation between variable quantities there are different types of graphs bar graph pie chart and line graph in bar graph data is being represented by div drawing different bars for example this bar graph is showing you the number of students absent during a week so on x axis days of the week is being shown and on y axis number of students are being shown who are absent on that particular day of the week so looking at the bars we can find number of students absent on that particular day another way to represent data is a pie chart it is in the circular form where we divide it into segments and each of these sectors represent a specific amount of data for example pie chart given in your book shows the percentage of students opting for various streams in a class however the motion of a body is best represented by line graph various types of line graph can be plotted to show the motion of a body we will consider only distance time graph which shows how the distance traveled by a body changes with time for drawing line graph we should know that a graph has two axes x axis and y axis both are perpendicular to each other and each line represents one quantity in distance time graph the horizontal line represents time axis while the vertical line represents distance axis scale should also be chosen for example along x axis 1 cm is equal to 1 second along y axis 1 cm is equal to 2 meters if the body is in uniform motion the distance time graph of a body will always be a straight line now look at the examples given in the book that how would you represent the data on a distance time graph and also how would you read such a graph to obtain data from the table 6.1 we can know that a body covers 3 meters in 1 second and point a represents this to plot point a we mark the point corresponding to 1 second on the time axis 
and draw a perpendicular to the axis at this point similarly we draw a perpendicular to the distance axis at the point corresponding to 3 meters where these two perpendiculars in intersect it is point a in the similar way points b c and d can be plotted to represent the distance covered that is 6 meters 9 meters and 12 meters in 2 3 and 4 seconds respectively join these points and extends the line to zero this will give us distance time graph if it shows a straight line then definitely it is a uniform motion to calculate the speed of the body from the graph speed is equal to distance covered upon time taken so from the graph we can take that 6 meter is the distance covered in 2 seconds time now if we are going to divide that we'll get the answer to be 3 meter per second so that will be the speed of the body now another way we can take is that be upon ae which is shown in the graph be is equal to 6 minus 3 and ae is equal to 2 minus 1 again we are getting the 3 upon 1 so that will also be 3 meter per second the speed in the earlier example we have drawn the graph from the table provided now in the second example from the graph given in figure 6.8 we are going to obtain data and then we will make a table so as you can see in the graph that a straight line has been provided to you now drop a perpendicular to the time axis as well as to the distance axis by this point then by this point then by this point likewise further so if you are going to drop the perpendicular from this point on to both the axes that is on time as well as on distance axis you will find that it is going to fall on the time axis at 1 second and on the distance axis it is going to fall at 2 meters so this shows that the distance covered in 1 second is 2 meters likewise next points will fall on 2 seconds and 4 meters then followed by 3 seconds and 6 meters then from here if you are going to drop the perpendicular it will fall on 4 seconds and 8 meters and finally if this point is going to be made fall then it will drop at 5 seconds and 10 meters now if you want to calculate the speed of the body it can be calculated as distance traveled upon time taken so it will be 10 meters upon 5 second this will come out as 2 meters per second now if you are going to compare these two examples we can say that earlier graph was more steeper than this one because the speed of the body was 3 meter per second in earlier one while 
it is 2 meters per second in this one so the higher the speed the steeper is the distance time graph 